here we are, athletes and fans around the world. It's time for another Primetime Muscle. I'm Tim Wilkins, joined by the one and only real deal, Chris Cormier. That's what's up. How That's what's doing? up. Uh, nice to see you as always. Thank you. Tara Kilgindy down on the end. Good to see you, my friend. Great to be here. Great to be here with the power couple of Pro 10. I feel honored. Mr. and Mrs. Pro 10 themselves, uh, Stacy and Lalisa Kaufman, industry, not just industry leaders, the industry creators. Thank you, Tim. Wow. You invented it. <laughs> and it's really not a big stretch. You, people, you created the whole process. People say, people say, listen, you got to get your Pro 10. They don't say you got to get your tan. They say you got to get your Pro 10. It's in the competitor's minds. Thank God. That's We're right. lucky. And thanks for having us here. As Absolutely. you can see, I'm here with my wife next to me. <laughs> I want to be Mr. Pro Tan, Mrs. Pro Tan. So Thank big you. shout out there. And also our chicas. We're all one big happy family. And the chicas are your chicas. applicators. Um, that is correct. At every level, from the ladies back in the uh, spray tents to, uh, to the ones that the pros do this by hand. Some of them. Yeah. Some of them. Yes. That's a lot of ground to cover. That's a lot yeah, of area for somebody to cover. It is. But yeah. it goes well. It goes quick, and the girls are very good at it. But it works well for them. And at the end of the day, they want to be treated as pros. you got Mr. Olympia there, Miss Olympia there. They want to stay in the room. They want to be able to see them. We go and do the private tanning for them. It works out great. Do you they love it, it. Do you think it covered, like, what, 90%, 80%? Hey, what is it? It's got to be a high number of... Of competitors that you work with, or yeah, in fact, we actually utilize your 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 products. Yeah, for the most part, at the at the level that we're at the Olympia, we're talking the Olympia and, and the larger shows. We're we really are at the seventy to ninety percent. A lot of people do it themselves, so it's going down a little bit for us. For the ten, a lot of people do it themselves. There's a handful of people I use other companies outside of it. I just don't understand why. Not anything against my competitors, but when we're there at the show, we're backstage. We're here to help you. Make sure that your, your tan is perfect, the oil's perfect, everything's right. You know, that's what our job is. We're going to do that. And the good thing about Pro Tan is we do it for everybody. So when you're at a show with Pro Tan, we look after every athlete, which I'm very proud of as a company. So whether you tan with us or not, backstage, we're going to make sure you step on stage looking great. And that's the Chicas. Yeah. My wife's part of that <laughs> process, actually. I, I've, been, uh, I've been involved in the process of tanning uh, once, you know, here and there. And I'll tell you, those girls that we have and all the team that we, we have backstage, they just want to do the best job they can, and they're – Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. We're as good as they are. Now, actually. I want to put people at ease, but I want to, I want to ask you a fun sure. question. Uh, because Stacy, uh, in a previous episode when he was on, said it's an all, they are chicas. It's an all-female staff for the men and the women that yes. do the tanning. And to be in the little tent uh, with the sock on necessarily, like your Anthony Kiedis from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, <laughs> uh, or, you know, depending on what category you're in. If yeah. you're in men's physique, there's no reason to be in there in the sock. Let's be honest. Yeah. You can go in there in your tidy whiteys yeah, and roll them up true. a little bit. Yeah. Come on, guys. That's true. <laughs> but it, uh, although it can be an awkward process, uh -huh. what are some of the, uh, either some of the things that people can do to make it less awkward, or uh, what are some of the crazy things, that people that are nervous, or things that are going on back there? What, what kind of funny stuff has happened back there? It, everything it's possible down there, <laughs> you know, because people, of course, they're doing this uh, after many weeks of training, uh, after many weeks of Time. dieting and, and preparing for this big moment. Uh, sometimes people are very nervous and, you know, it shows and they could be a little bit demanding in certain ways. And, you know, we try to ease their nerves and try to make yep. sure that they understand that we're trying to do the best job we can to make them look the best for this big so day important. for themselves. Yeah. That's very important what my wife was saying. And, and so many of our team really are social like workers. They really yes. talk to the athletes. They calm them. They motivate them. And that's all part of our strategy, by the way, is ProTan. As you know, you've seen us do it before. But the girls are all about making sure there's the best time of your life when you're going on stage. Whether you're last place or first place, you get yes. the same service. And I love that about the team because they really motivate all the athletes because a lot of athletes get there nervous. And what my wife says is true. They're very nervous, so they're shaking. You know, they're, we calm them down. The girls calm them down, and they'll spray them real cold and make you shock them real quick. <laughs> and uh, I, I want to add something because I have witnessed that. I've witnessed first-time competitors completely nervous, not knowing what to do. I've seen competitors that said, you know, I don't want to do this. I, I'm nervous. And I've witnessed Elisa and Carla yeah. communicating with them. It's going to be okay. I've seen them giving tips about what they should do on stage, yeah. right? And I think this comes from the top, from, you know, the Kaufmans, their leadership. 
If you talk to Stacy Kaufman, he's one of those guys that he could be talking to you about the sponsorship of the Olympia, and within the next 30 minutes, he could be back there tanning somebody because somebody needs help. Yes. Right. That's, that's Stacy Kaufman. Thank you. He can, he can go back there and fix a tanning problem if he needs to. And I think people identify ProTan as more than just a company that holds the largest market share in bodybuilding, but it, it has a, a, every company has a soul. Oh, and ProTan feels like a family. A lot of people use the word family, but ProTan feels thank like you. a family. Yes. If you're struggling you. in any bodybuilding show, you don't know what to do. Go to Pro 10, talk to Carla, Elisa, and they will take care of you. Call Stacy right away. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah, you did. Yes, <laughs> was, you did from Europe in the I middle of the in, night. I was in Prague, and I called him in the middle of the night. I was like, Stacy, <laughs> I need your help. He yeah. was like, what is it, buddy? I was like, well, we got we got uh, Nexilla here. Yeah, Nexilla. And he's never even used any tan whatsoever to this point. He's yeah. never used it before. No, this is his first time. And I couldn't find where the thing was. Where, well, where, it, was where it was in Prague, yeah. so yeah, it was a little bit dysfunctional. I didn't understand where. So Stacy got on the phone and said, hold on just a minute, I'll, I'll take care of it. So he got a guy, and then they, uh, they actually came over and did some extra little VIP work and uh, got him all sorted out. Yep, and I yeah. appreciate that, Stacey. Absolutely. I didn't know what time I mean, it was. I didn't even look. Who does that, right? You're, I didn't you're even telling look. me <laughs> you're in Prague. <laughs> it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> no, it, was, it was late. In, in Florida. <laughs> it was late. You, you called the CEO of the company and he <laughs> says, I'm going to take care of you. Yeah. It's no wonder they got close to 90% of the market <laughs> share. You. It's, well, it's not coincidence. It's funny because I have an interesting, interesting perspective as an MC. You talk about your market penetration on the NPC level. I can stand up there at the NPC and go, Pro Tan, Pro Tan, Pro Tan, mm -hmm. mm, you should have. <laughs> you didn't. Thank Ooh, you, yeah. you did. You did. Yeah. And, and I always implore people Thank uh, you. Uh, 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 from stage every time, yeah. don't not tan yourself or don't not get with the pros. Go with Pro Tan. Get it done right because it's really obvious. Like, like uh, Tarek has said in the past, if you're going to work for 12, 16, 18 weeks Absolutely. to diet, trained for the five years leading up to it, and go out and look like hot garbage because you yeah. cheaped out on a tan. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think, I, think, I think it's great, and thank you, all three of you, for the accolades for us. I, I'm very humbled by it. I really, really appreciate it. I will share, though, we work really hard on educating all the new athletes. You know, we've been doing this, collectively, like I said, 40 years in this, in this industry, which is a long time. Most athletes are, are half of that right now. So we have to educate. I'm really proud of the education we're doing now between the coaches, we have a lot of good coach programs that are teaching them. And I, and I see an improvement. I see a, a resurgence of understanding how to take better control of their tan on the stage and so on because it was a little bit where it got sloppy for a little bit. So I do see it coming back. It's our goal as a company to continue to educate and train, work with the judges, work with the NPC, and of course the IPB, making sure we understand what they expect for the show. Um, and we do that. And that's what we're at. And, you know, I can't thank our team enough for it. I can't even thank. Uh, my, my, my dearest friend, Dave Wilpon, who's been my manufacturing partner since we were inception. So he's really been the lifeblood of me. He's my right-hand guy. Every batch he makes of a Pro 10, I inspect every batch to this day. Um, it's kind of crazy, but I, I love him for that, and I want to thank him on this. But in general, thank you. We are a, a family, and I do take pride in that. My wife takes pride in that. In fact, I'm blessed now to recognize that Mr. and Mrs. Pro 10 are in the industry because we've seen so much better reception, or I've seen so much better reception from the athletes, the promoters, from everybody, because we're a couple. And we want to we want to exemplify the sport of, like, you can, if you stay focused in this sport and you stay, you live the healthy life that we live, you can be successful. We just want to keep giving back at that level and make sure athletes look their very best. I have a question. It's a tough question, and it's for both of you. I get a chance to judge a lot of shows in the NPC amateur competitors. And obviously, they're nervous. They don't know what to do. But because, and, and they're going to get their pro 10, but there is a perception that they don't need to do anything. If they go to pro 10, they'll, they'll fix them up, right? That's the perception. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're NPC <laughs> competitors. They look, they sign up the website. They see the logo pro 10 is the sponsor yeah. of the yeah. show. And they sign up there and it ends up that their tanning is great. They don't do the 14-day exfoliate. They don't do yeah. the base. They don't do that. Do you think you guys are victims of your own success? You've done so well that the customers, your customers, have gotten comfortable. Pro 10 will fix it. Don't worry. 
you know, I think you're right on. I don't want to ever say that, but I think you're right. I think we do such a good job, whether it's prepping properly or fixing the problems, that yes, I do think that. I, I, I think that's a great compliment, yeah. um, but we're not magic. Um, and we can't perform magic on everybody, but we try. But I yeah. see my wife wants to say something. And no, I, I will add to that that we have such a great team of people. And I go back to the concept of we are as good as the people that work for us. Uh, the ladies that work and the gentlemen, the few that we have yeah. that work for us, they have so much experience. Many of them, as Stacy mentioned earlier, had been competitors themselves. So they know what it requires, what it needed. If you see both of us whenever we go to a show, <laughs> you will see us going back and forth between uh, the audience and going backstage. backstage. Yeah. We're constantly checking on color. We're constantly viewing what's happening from this perspective, what is going on also on sheening. the- Also Exactly. Uh, and, and also on the screen. So, because it's different. You could be looking at an athlete on stage that looks very different from uh, you know, in the image that is portrayed on the on the screen. Yeah. And we are always kind of going back and forth and he's always trying to figure that out. So I think part of what you see is the result of all the passion that Stacy had poured into this business. Lily, so uh, I guess, I'm guessing you're not wearing white when you do all that? Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't. She, hey. she probably wore white today because it's the only day she can wear it. Hey, <laughs> I have no a doubt. confession as a judge. <laughs> I've seen competitors come to me and I can't even tell what they've done with their tanning. <laughs> and I just, the, some of them look green, yeah. blue, awesome. you know, they got you know, stains on the, and Oompa I just, Oompa. I just yeah. go like this, go to Pro Tan, don't <laughs> fix you. Yeah, you, you go to Pro yeah, Tan, don't fix you. You keep us fixing you. I'm a, and, yeah. and, and I'll tell you, we have some magic, magic workers back yeah. there. I mean, I'll, like Carla or Alyssa Denise. or Denise or Kelly. Kelly. They ahead, will just please. create, you know, they will really make magic. I, you was know. Gonna, I was gonna ask you both, but she makes you look really good backstage. Also. Thank God. <laughs> she makes you look good. I know. Thank yeah. God, Chris. I need it. She brings it. a class to the to the, to the to the stats. But let me tell you. So troubleshooting. If you do turn out green, if you do get the big, uh, you, you look you like the person that's green. What what's going on there? What? Well, sometimes people help? turn green because of their diet. Now mm -hmm. we don't have that problem in our products because of our formulations that have really been perfected to not affect that. But a lot of people that diet, depending on what they eat, uh, it could be their fruits or vegetables, whatever they might eat, mostly vegetables for, could give them an effect. They get go like an alkaline reaction will turn a little bit green. Mm -hmm. Normally it shows under the armpits mostly. It's not gonna be their whole body. It'll be like under the armpits, so to speak. So, and a lot of guys don't tan under the armpits, by the way, which you have to. It's not a pH balance. It's a pH well, that's balance. A pH. That's it's a, a pH, yeah. yeah. So, Lalisa was saying earlier, yeah. so it's a pH yes, thing. Yes, absolutely. We did make a supplement back in the old days, a pH balance. We never had that problem. Some people have a spray they spray on, like our competitors, but we don't have that problem. Because of our formulation, it won't allow you to turn green. It actually exfoliates mm -hmm. right oh, the okay. oil off your top skin. Let, let me scare every competitor. Yeah. It's the chemicals in the farm-raised tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> no, turn the green. It's, uh, and actually, you, you bring up another interesting don't. Uh, so there are things you're doing the you get the the male let's just say you get the male competitor kit yep and you do the exfoliant you do the hair removal and you get yourself all right and then the day before you use a soap that's got a dye or a perfume in it that could affect your tan absolutely you put on deodorant not realizing you're supposed to probably smell a little bit uh, and then that hits the tan and that that can go green so, that can make a pH so interesting enough yeah. I invented the first self tan deodorant used for bodybuilders called Odor Defender. He did. He did. We, we may have. A, we actually that. make a. Yeah, we actually make a deodorant good. you can use before, during, and after tanning because we needed it. Yo, yeah. I, mean, I mean, we needed it, folks. We tan all over the world, yeah. so we made a, a deodorant that actually works with tanning. Now, I don't recommend using it not tanning because you'll get tanned armpits, but it is great for people for the underarm and all other areas. It's a perfect deodorant yeah. for pre tan because you're not supposed to use soaps or exfoliants before you tan because it has a film on it, and that film from that soap will allow it to not cover. So a moisturizing soap, how does the soap moisturize you? It leaves a substantive on your skin that makes you silky. But if you try and put the protein over that, it has to cut through that layer of what's basically oil before that. Now protein is designed to be self-exfoliating. That's why it works so well. So it's just the perfect product for I even was, if you I do. I was never, I was never, I know I was one of those people, I was, just superstitious, and I didn't want to take a shower the last day. Nobody did. I don't take a shower the <laughs> no, last day. I, don't. I said, no. if I take a shower, that water's going to get in my pores, and I'm going to be holding water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different one. But it's good to rinse off. A light, cool rinse is always yeah. good. And also, your first base of protein should be rinsed off. The first coat well, of protein should be rinsed off. Yeah. We We're going to cover that okay, in a minute good. with what Lalisa said earlier when we come back, because there's uh, if you're going to get the kit and do it yourself, yeah. 
There's some tips that you gave away earlier. I don't know if there's a tutorials on YouTube or a website. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that when we come back with more with Mr. and Mrs. Protan on Primetime Muscle. You diet down, train hard, and supplement smart for months. When the time comes to step on stage, don't leave your tan to chance. Go with the pros. Pro Tan. Number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the Olympia for the last 15 years. Don't step on stage without it. Pro Tan. All right, we're back. And with every level of competition from first show, uh, you're getting that uh, true novice all the way up to you're trying to be true Olympia. Uh, the tan is a crucial component to that success. And uh, before we went to break, we were headed down a direction. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you and I were talking uh, uh, between, uh, between the break and you said, you know, I said, I think I'm going to do it myself this year which means someone else because I can't reach a lot of these spots. And uh, you said that there's days in advance that certain things have to be done. First of all, are there videos yes. online? Yes, absolutely. Uh, if you go into uh, protanusa.com, yep. there's plenty of information that we have created uh, that tells you step by step how to do the tan, what to do before you tan, what to do after you tan, and so there's many, many uh, good information that you could find there. To and answer and all each the back of the bottle says step one, step two, step three, step four. Just want everybody to know that we yeah. have the steps on the back of the bottle. That's the easy <laughs> stuff. Now, yes. what you were saying was, hey, you've got a Saturday show. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got a Saturday show, mm -hmm. put on a first layer around Wednesday, mm -hmm. live your life, Thursday you shower, maybe Friday you put on another layer, Saturday you get up and do the last one. That is What's, correct. That's, and that should be perfect because it takes time. It's a self-bronzer. Exactly. So it gets into your skin and brings out those natural colors. Let me Absolutely. correct a little bit. Wednesday is actually a day you don't really need it unless you're fair skin. That would be yes. a okay. double coat. Thursday is sufficient. Thursday morning you put your base, let's stay in it the whole day. Okay. Friday you rinse off and that's when you do your, your second coat, which is where you're going to need. But Wednesday is... Kind of if you're really super fair skin, you haven't done yes. any pre-basing, you want to start on Wednesday, you see that first color, and then you'll wash that off, then you put your second one on. But yeah, normally Thursday for a Friday pre is good. And Friday is Friday's your last show, or Saturday morning you get up and do it again? Well, I we always like people to rinse on Saturday morning and do a final yes. and do another application. Oh, wow. I find it to be mm -hmm. the best, especially if you do the pre-judging at night. Look, when you're done with your pre-judging, your judges have seen you, now is your chance you can shower, come back normal, come back fresh. You know, we do also like our, our, our top coat, which can be just done for one application. So that's why I said you don't have to sit around all day and not shower. You can shower, be human, mm -hmm. come back wow. after pre-judging. Exactly. And do it again. And, and do by, it again. And, yeah. by then and there's you, still some in there, right? There's still yeah, oh, yeah, it does it, yeah. Because remember, there's an active ingredient on the uh, protein base coat, which is the DHA, which is dihydroxyacetone. And that will change the color of your skin. So that is important because when you, let's say, let's say you're uh, posing and you start sweating, the, the contrast between your uh, base coat and the top coat is not going to be that much if you allow that base coat to work properly. Yeah, and that's, that's the difference. The key. So when people get the sweat marks and there's a white river down there, it's because they didn't let them. That they on. didn't. Uh, they didn't prepare their skin properly, or they didn't tan properly with a base. Coat. Well, look, there's okay. a lot of sweaters. Let's face it, there's a lot of sweaters yes. in bodybuilding. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of sweating. I have a question. Yeah. Nick Walker, he won the New York Pro. Yes. And um, the you know a lot of people are saying, and I would give him that feedback as well. He was tan, but the face was very pale. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little white moon. There, there was a little bit of oh, a yeah. discrepancy there. And listen, you know, obviously we're not judging his face, but mm -hmm. it kind of caught our attention Absolutely. that you have this thing that's quite white and then the body that's tan. What is your, you know, I would tell Nick Walker as a judge, your Nick, face, right? we, you know, tan your face One application. so that we're not paying attention to this white thing, Absolutely. right? We're just looking at an entire you know, harmony of color, mm -hmm. what, what, what can he do? I mean, it, tan the face? I'll tell you. And why is his face so white? Is he putting makeup on? Well, it's, so there's two things. So a lot of guys are actually using makeup now to cover it. So yes, you put one application on your face, the, the last thing you do, and you use a cosmetic brush to do it because you don't spray it on your face because you don't want to use the cosmetic, but you use one application. And I tell people not to put too much on their nose because for whatever reason, your nose sticks out and gets darker. So after you put your nose, wet it off. So your face is very unique, but you have to have one application. Do behind your ears, do your neck, 
and that's all you need. Then you can rinse it as long as you have that. Now we do makeup on guys now for their face. A lot of guys are using makeup. Nick just likes to be super dark, and he's a very fair-skinned guy. So he didn't have. He should have had a little base on his face. One or two applications on his face. He wash it off. It'll give him that natural color. It won't be as dark as the rest of his body, but it won't be noticeable. Exactly. Right, and that's it what you want to It doesn't have to be as dark yeah, no as the body, faces. but not something that it's such a yeah. contrast. Then it goes like catches your attention for a second. But a lot of guys are afraid. So, so protein is safe for your skin. So when protein was invented, it actually helps clear acne. So if you know about bodybuilding in the '80s. Acne was rampant in athletes. When I say acne, I mean on the back, the back chest, knee. back knee. Yeah. So the what volcanoes. was so good about protein, we invented it was because of the nature of the form. It's actually an exfoliant. It actually removed the acne. So by the way, oh my God, not only did I good. That, yeah. yeah. We use a little alcohol and some, and then some acetone, which is very good clinical stuff, you know, cosmetic okay. stuff. Not this. So I, start, very I have another good. question. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Very good exfoliator. I, I used to use it on my face. Yep. Also. But also, uh, I take one rinse after the show, and I look great in the club. That's the best. Yes. You, every look athlete looks the best club. after. So here's the best part about body, <laughs> about pro -tan. When you're done after Olympia, and we've layered you, because let's say we've had to do a guy two or three times. When he showers, the next day, he looks gorgeous. If everybody showered after, it looks natural. I'm, I'm gonna, it's, I'm gonna, it's just I'm really gonna, important. I'm going to show really you guys important. some photos of me the, the night of the show, in the club with my shirt off, look okay. how good I'm looking. I can't <laughs> wait to see that. that Sounds program. great. Uh, question. <laughs> so, so he, nowadays, our industry <laughs> is not only about bodybuilding on stage. We know you got that down. Go get your pro tan. Um, my, my question is this. A lot of the competitors, they shoot videos throughout the year um, at the gyms. Yep. And if you're tan, you look better, 100%. right? What can I do? What can the competitors, not me, because, <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a competitor and you need to shoot a video yep. for Olympia TV yep. and you want to have that nice tan, do you do the same process as a competitor? Do you, do you have a, a lotion that tans you? Yeah. So the answer is yes, yes, and yes. Um, you don't have to go through the whole steps of prepping as well, but you do want to have one base coat. Original protein is the base easy. Now, let's say you want to go to the pool and you're going to do a, wet, a wetsuit swimming. Can't take protein in the water if it hasn't set for 24 hours, but you can take that quick bronze I told you about, put that in your whole body, you go take a picture in the pool, the beach, it won't come off, and then you wipe it off with a towel. So there are some tricks for photo shoot, depending on what it is. But Protan, still the original, gives you your base coat natural. We also have a top coat bronzer for instant, like quick. However, if you don't put oil over and you sweat, it's going to run. So going back to sweating, most people sweat behind their ears and their neck. And what's happening is the, my team is told to actually put oil and sheen behind there to seal it. Remember I told you guys it's, it's a cosmetic. We're, we're a makeup company. Oil and water don't mix. The oil seals the water. So if you put a top coat bronzer, which is water-based, you've got to put oil over it to keep from running and streaking. That's the way it works. So often my team, that's why you'll see me, make sure you oil the hamstring, make sure you get behind their neck because a lot of the guy heavy sweats will sweat from here and then it'll run into their chest. So it's not actually swaying from their chest, it's coming behind there and they just don't put oil there to seal it and sometimes that's what happens. So how do you how do you how did you make this culture of this attitude and the you know, coming from the CEO on down to the workers? How did how did you create this culture? So you know what it was it was a it actually became a, re, a problem to me with Carla and, and, and her loyalty to me about building a team of people that cared about the sport. Um, we tried a lot of people at spray tan at tanning salons. Unfortunately, they just can't do it. They can't hang. This is a grueling, grueling accomplishment to tan at trade shows. These girls are dedicated, hard work, and any athlete, I, I'll tell you 100% of the athletes love our company. 100%. I'm not going to say 99, 100% because we're just, they're just that good. But that's because they're passionate, they're, 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 that's them. Their culture came from the people we recruited, and that started with Carla. She's been responsible for recruiting most of our spray tanners, and she does okay. a great job. Former <laughs> professional athlete, so, and that's what it takes. So we're lucky. Now, we just lost a good one, Sharonica. She just turned pro. She was probably going to tan for us anymore because she turned pro, which I'm happy for her. But <laughs> Sorry, for she was great. And the she from Australia, I forgot her name off the top of Andrea. Andrea. She, you, yeah. you love Andrew. We'll yeah, yeah. fly, we fly her in from, so she'll be flown in from Australia just because yeah. people love her. So we fly her in to take care of her. Now, you know, she was Rolly's guy and all yeah, the pros. Yeah, Everybody yeah, loves, yeah. each pro has their own has girls, their own, which yeah. is a challenge. So we had to change it over yeah. because people retire. 
But it's been really fun at that capacity. But Andrea, she's from Australia, great, great partner. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, great. Yeah. And, and Chris, in addition to what he just mentioned, Stacey just mentioned, where it comes from also, if there's a need for Stacy to go backstage and help the girls, he will do it. If there's somebody that is missing and we need, you know, we have a flow of uh, athletes that is larger than what we expected, <laughs> him or, or <laughs> I will be there. So I think that, you know, when you have people that work for you and they see that you, the head of the company, is willing to go in the roll trenches his up. and no, roll his no sleeves <laughs> up and, and do the work, we they have, have no a choice. lot of respect right. for that. And I think that also speaks volume of the type of culture that we have created. Nobody is big enough in our company not to do the work because everybody does a valuable work for us and, and we're very appreciative. Right. Okay, let me, let me ask this question because yep. I know this is a big show for competitors. Yep. So, you do your Friday evening appointment. Yes. And you've scheduled one between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. You've got your dark, loose-fitting clothes. Yep. Uh, and walk us through the process. You crank the AC down to where you can hang meat in the room. <laughs> And you don't put the, do walk, walk me through the process well, to where this isn't going to get a messed well, up tan. Well, first, let's talk about it. When you sign up online to book your tan, you get, a, you get a receipt saying you booked your tan. We don't send you a time at that time because we have to wait till more athletes come in. So then a few days before the show, we'll actually give you a structured time. So everybody has a set time to tan. So you come, if you're an athlete and you want to have a tanning time, not a cattle call, we take that. So that's step one. Make sure you, you have an 8 o'clock show, but 8 o'clock will tan you. As long as you listen to the protocol, you get a sheet that says, how to shower properly, not to use soaps before the day before the show. We give you a whole step by step. If the athletes would read that, there would be no questions, but there's lots of questions. But once you get to that part and then you come now, you're with protein. You say, okay, I've done, I've showered properly, I've exfoliated, I put a base coat on myself, I'm ready to go. It's smooth as possible. You come get checked in, we give you your tanning times, the girls tell you what to do, we give you a lip balm to put on before you tan, you show up at that time, we schedule you, come in, we greet you, we tell you to get undressed, we tell you what to do, and in and out. 10 minutes, you think, oh my God, it was that easy. You just got to follow the protocol that we provide. Now, that night. That walk night. A, walk oh, us sorry. through the night into the morning. Okay. So and now that, you're tan. Yes. Like you say. So you go and you wear loose fitting clothes, crank the air down if you want. You're done. Shower. If you want to shower in the morning, a lot of people like to shower in the morning. You get a second application. You shower in the morning. You get an application. That's all you have to do. If you don't want an application uh, shower after, you don't shower. I personally think it's better, but we've got it down to such a science that the people that don't shower, Still look great. Scrub like I just said, you're 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 a victim of your own success. Yes. yes. Lily says scrub. You get in the shower, scrub or just let it rinse. Rinse. Uh, let it rinse. Okay. Once Sorry. you apply the uh, base coat, you don't want to scrub. Okay. And no more scrubbing. He's in been that. asking these questions uh -huh. because he's, he's a to for a show. But Tim, okay. you can call me you directly. Ask <laughs> you ask like the protocol. Don't he's worry. He's making this whole episode. <laughs> it's okay. I got it. I got you, Tim. Okay. Let's now ask her how she should tan a minxy guy that's over fifty five. <laughs> and by the way, we won't oil your calves, though, just yeah. for the record. Right. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he's got none. He's got none. Just, kidding, you're just telling you that. Just, that's just a rule. But, yeah. you know, what I like to say in this whole show, and I, and I, I love that it's been about protein, and thank you. It's great because the athletes need us, okay? We will work as hard as we can to make sure that the newer athletes understand the process because there is a lot of misinformation. But we have several hundred YouTube videos of people that are just videoed and tanned. You could find anything you want. The Google Protein on YouTube, there's tons. All I can ask is an athlete at the time, just do a little research. The same way you take your supplements, the same way you do your macros. Look at your tanning, look at the protocol. We actually have videos step by step to show you. 15 languages, you can click online and just choose a language, it'll come out, 15 yeah. languages, you can pick, you know, so if you speak Russian, German, French, Lithuanian, Spanish, you, Spanish, you can, French. you just have to read the, read the paper, but it's really simple. If you can shower, you can put protein on. That's it, uh, that's my statement. If you can take a bath and shower, you can put protein on perfect every time. Uh, I'm gonna say this, the first time I judged a bodybuilding show was 2006. I worked for Gold's Gym for 10 years. Protein, the company, is a great lesson of success in business. Not only in bodybuilding, you can own a restaurant and go study protein and see so many traces of success. I think um, as a, a business person, as a competitor, as a judge, everybody needs to understand what protein is. Since 1987, these guys have close to 90% of the market share. This is unheard of business. Apple oh. doesn't have that kind of reach. So I want to commend you Thank both you. For, for being a, a, a colossus in the bodybuilding oh, industry. 
Like I said, you don't get your tan. You get, get your, your pro tan. It's Thank become you. the Kleenex and Xerox and Ziploc bag. You think of something yeah. that now means something. Mm -hmm. well, Proton means tan for bodybuilding. Well, I thank you for that lovely statement. That's wonderful. I want to thank also, of course, you know, the people that have put us here, which is, of course, you know, Jim Mannion and the family of the NPC, and, of course, now Jake winning Olympia. We've been servicing Olympia for 20 years, which I'm very proud of, um, and we can love to continue that. But thank you, everybody. That's a wonderful comment. Um, I'm blessed. Like I say, our team is blessed. Our family's blessed. We thank the bodybuilding world for this, and I think we're out of time. Stacy, uh, uh, Chris, I'm pretty much. Uh, I'm. I'm happy to still and be in the family. Yes, I'm you are. Glad you didn't kick me out the house yet. I'm just no. in the basement. No, but it's a good basement, Chris. <laughs> Never in a good basement. Those 3 a.m. prog calls then, might get uh, you kicked yeah. out. No. <laughs> you call me at 3 a.m. But, 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 but if I need somebody to train how to tan, Chris can do it. And that's I'm what I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Stacy, you're guy. a much sure. better person than I am. Nah, <laughs> I <laughs> will block <laughs> his ass. <laughs> no, nah, I don't. I can't. I got a business to run. We're always working. We do have to thank you, guys. Thank so uh, thank you both so much it. for oh, coming on, for spending time with us. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you at shows like, coming up. We'll definitely comment, subscribe, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, we'll see you on the next Primetime Muscle.